the Nexus International School, Model United Nations Ni Model United Nations Conference of 2022, lovingly referred to as Nisman C22. My name is Nora, and while I'm officially the head of internal logistics, I will be doubling as your host for the opening ceremony this afternoon. First of all, on behalf of my fellow Secretariat members, we welcome all our esteemed guests to our second virtual conference, which has seen delegates travel to Discord from all over Malaysia's network of international schools. To further extend our welcome, we'd like to invite the principal of Nexus International School Malaysia, Mr. David Griffiths, to deliver his opening speech. Take it away, Mr. David. Hello. The choices we make today create the future we are dreaming of. The choices that you make today create the future that you are dreaming of. My name is David Griffiths and I'm the principal of Nexus Malaysia. It's my great honour and privilege to welcome you all to this conference. At Nexus Malaysia, we define a global citizen as one who knows about world events, one who cares what others have to say, and one who is able to communicate and collaborate with a variety of people to really make a difference. So, what does the future, our future, hold? How are innovation and technology transforming the way that we live, work, and play? What lies ahead for issues of well-being, internet censorship, equality and the treatment of ethnic minorities, resource allocation and depletion, climate change and cryptocurrency, to name a few. Over the next three days, I extend the invitation to you, the delegates of the 9th Nexus International School, Model United Nations Conference to debate, discuss, and hopefully to begin the call to action on the future of everything. During the conference, you, the global citizens and leaders of tomorrow, will begin the journey towards future solutions to world issues through constructive debate and the collaborative exchange of their ideas. As large parts of the world are beginning to emerge from the global pandemic, we'll need to examine what lessons have been learned and we can begin to look ahead with hope and positivity to a brighter, more inclusive and equitable future. You will begin to lead debates, campaigns and messaging that will enable others to work towards a more prosperous secure and healthy world. Your energy can support the goals of the United Nations and inspire others, young and old, through innovative approaches, critical thinking and effective problem solving. I believe that as the UN itself embarks upon a decade of action towards delivering a sustainable, fairer future with multinationalism at its heart, it will depend on people like you, young delegates, to lead it forward. The future of our world depends on people like you. Before we begin our journey this year, I'd like to thank our Secretariat team for their amazing commitment to the MUN at Nexus. Well done, Fatima, and I sincerely hope that the UN follows our lead sometime in the near future. Welcome to you all. Enjoy the conference and thank you for your dedication to our future. Thank you. Thank Hello. you, Mr. Hello. David. You're exactly right. The choices you make today, delegates, will create the future we're dreaming of. Now, in accordance with the theme of our conference this year, hashtag future of, we thought we'd invite one of the up and coming youth leaders of our time to be our guest speaker. Here to discuss her personal MUN experience and how we, attendees of today's conference, are the future of tomorrow. 
please welcome 17 year old activist and Secretary General of Thaiman Qatar, Julia Pina, everyone. Delegates, chairs, directors, guests. The model in Model United Nations does not make our work any less valuable, necessary, or impactful. Though we may not be able to solve global issues directly from the rooms that we now sit in, I definitely can't do so from my own bedroom, by building skills, meeting people, and developing our knowledge, we accumulate the tools we need to sit at decision-making tables. Your future and the future of the world are very much intertwined, so you deserve and should strive towards making an impact. My name is Julia Pinna. I'm a 17-year-old student in Doha. I'm an avid MUNer, much like yourselves, and I'm currently serving as a Secretary General of the Hague International Model United Nations. I'm here today to tell you a few words about my journey with an MUN. I don't quite mean my journey from being a 12-year-old tiny member of the admin team to now serving on the executive team of Thymen, but rather I mean what MUN has given me beyond the committee room, beyond conferences. We all enjoy debates, we all enjoy saying resolutions are vague, and we all enjoy the thrill of our own resolutions passing. But beyond this, I would like for us to know that MUN has a real, true impact on global issues. This is something I was reminded of countless times by directors and conference speakers, much like myself now, but never quite truly grasped. And yet my work with an MUN has led me to attend pre-COP in Milan and COP26 in Glasgow. I'd like to tell you a little bit more about these conferences and what they taught me. Pre-conference Youth for Climate was about us, the youth of the world and our role in combating climate change. As delegates from all over the globe, we were sorted into working groups and began working on policy that we wanted to see as the outcome of COP26. The people I met in Milan during this time were driven, passionate, collaborative and creative. Skills that I see mirrored in MUNers much like yourselves. So I came away from the first few days having been a part of policy drafting discussions and workshops. I was relieved and myself driven by the people around me. I felt confident that our work would amount to something important, that it would shape the policy to come. The final day of the conference, we met with ministers. From Chingolani to Alex Sharma, the key organizers of COP26, to the ministers of environment from countries such as the US and Japan. This had the potential to be an incredible meeting, and it was. However, it showed every single young delegate in the room how much more could be done how innovative and groundbreaking our own manifesto was, and yet how much more could be done on a national and international level. COP26 felt much the same. And though this is not to say that the progress made is unimportant, because it was, it was a step in the right direction, so much more can be achieved. And despite the excitement and the thrill of leading panels, taking part in negotiations and meeting activists, this is a sentiment that was echoed by myself and my fellow party delegates. In everything we took part in and ev all the policy that we read, we couldn't help but think that the people we had met in MUN, the people like you, were more than capable of the same, plus some more innovation. So now I reach my point of my being here today. You may not right now see the importance of what you are doing. You may not believe it truly has an impact. I know that when I was in your position, I did not think this, but your work is truly groundbreaking. Regardless of whether your resolution is read by anyone outside this conference, regardless of whether your SDG project goes beyond your own school, your impact in your community is incredibly significant. This is a key thing I have taken away from pre-COP and COP26. Your impact in your community makes an incredible impact in the global community. So create a ripple effect, be a magnifying glass, spread light and fire around you. It does not matter what metaphor you choose to adopt to motivate your work. So long as you remember that your work, your projects, your initiatives should be bold. This year, for example, I changed the structure of Thaim and Qatar. We are an MUN club that has been running for 20 years and we're running on a model of MUN that has been alive for 50 plus years. The change that we initiated this year 
did not go beyond the 400, 500 attendees of our conference, but it did because those 400 people, no more 500 people. And so the passion and innovation that we built in our conference went beyond the conference itself. You in this conference have discussed the issues such as the Taliban occupation of, of Afghanistan. Whether this is your passion or whether you are interested in other issues from climate change to gender equality, know that there is something that you can do. My experiences in MUN prepared me for UN conferences, but they showed me the importance of the former. I came back from each conference determined that change should start from us. I will use one more cliche before I leave you today. We are the future of this world, but this does not mean that our impact should not be felt right now. So start those SDG projects, change the conferences that you want to change, challenge the structures that should be challenged because your impact has an impact. I would like to thank the organizers, the executive team of this conference for inviting me today. I would like to wish you a wonderful rest of the conference. And I would like to remind you to please have an impact, no matter how small, in your own community, because it has a global impact. Thank you. Thank you, Julia, for your moving speech and powerful insights into the global MUN scene. I know I'm stirred. Next, please welcome the mastermind of Nisman C22, my, your, our Secretary General, Fatima Morris, as she delivers her opening speech. Thank you, Nora. Mr. David Griffiths, Principal of Nexus International School, Malaysia. MUN Director, Mr. Matthew Hendrick, Secretariat, Chairs, Observers, Delegates, Ladies and Gentlemen. It is a privilege and gives me great pleasure to welcome you to the ninth inaugural session of the Nexus International School Model United Nations Conference and our second conference to be held virtually. Our theme for this year's conference, Future of, and captures the responsibility held by youth to lead humanity through formidable circumstances. Our voices are being heard now more than ever before and our ideas and innovations can propel the world towards uniting on a better front. We are the future of tomorrow we are the ones who will take over the world, and now is the time for us to claim this title. And it, was, and it is with the same determination and ambition that the Secretariat has organized this virtual conference. In another year defined by a pandemic, I sit here today to remind you to never be deterred by the adversities of the world. I'm certain that many of us have been told time and time again of the unprecedented times you're in and the world's imminent return to normal looms over us. And whilst this may be a breath of relief for some, Skepticism surrounding what the future entails may be daunting to others. Simply know that you are never alone and that united together, we are the future generation who will be the beacons of the change we want to see in the world. And although for now that change may be debating and discussing foreign policies and drafting resolutions on pressing current affairs in your councils, Nisman C endeavors to serve as a reminder to continue to break boundaries and aspire for more, regardless of the impact of the change we initiate. In saying that, Delegates, over the course of the next three days, continue to challenge yourselves and your peers. Continue to learn from your chairs and fellow delegates, and most importantly, continue to be resilient in Nisman C and in life. I will leave you all with this. The world is changing at a remarkable pace, and as the youth of the world, we are not to be excluded from the conversation. Instead, we are to lead it. The future of the world is unpredictable, and we mustn't shy away from change or uncertainty, but face it head on because we are the future of. With that and with great honor, I now formally declare Nisman C 2022 open. Thank you, Fatima, for your wonderful work and for your equally wonderful speech. Please enjoy the following opening ceremony video. People are systematically oppressed by their own the government. government the government I don't know. And you get this message. You feel inevitably replaced. Please do How good is that music? It gets me every time. So with that, 
Delegates, chairs, and observers, you may now log on to your respective council channels on Discord. We hope all attendees have a productive conference filled with fruitful debate, and we thank you all for joining Nisman C 2022. Thank you. Thank you.